Bry's Comics. Welcome back to Bry's Comics. In this video, we have another massive haul video of some amazing slabs that we're going to go through right here. If you've been following the channel, you know that recently I purchased $150,000 worth of grails at auction and then offered them up for trade to the community. And this should be the last haul video associated with those trades like they've come and they've gone and i've done a couple videos so far and these are the uh the last slabs i believe out of that whole endeavor for those wondering uh it definitely worked and it was a lot of work it's busier than i've ever been uh but it was also incredibly exciting uh incredibly rewarding to get to even just deal and hold these books um and then to see all of the awesome stuff that came and went uh with that it was an absolute Absolute, absolute blast and I do hope to do it again uh, we'll see if the opportunity presents itself but before we get any further I want to congratulate this person for winning the March giveaway uh, for the YouTube channel and congratulations to this person you won the slab for the newsletter over at brizecomics.com each and every month we have a slab giveaway here on the YouTube channel and this month the new prize giveaway for April is this slab and if you head over to brizecomics.com and sign up for the newsletter you'll be entered to win this slab for the month of April and each and every month there's a new slab giveaway that's also where you'll get first access to new collections and if you use code collect 10 you'll get 10% off all in stock items including all of these slabs that are going to be featured today here in this video don't forget to follow me over on whatnot for some massive slab shows everything's starting at one dollar over on whatnot at the time of filming this i'm not sure if i'm going to have a show uh this friday uh, if you're watching this today it comes out but you can always check the link in the description head over to my whatnot and schedule any future shows and if you use that link to sign up for the first time you'll get 15 dollars towards your first purchase also don't forget to follow me over on instagram where i often post trades for grails and other fresh content over there so with that said let's hop into this awesome stack of slabs starting off with a couple classics here man of steel number one from 1986 these are this is the first comic i believe to have a variant cover from 1986 and i believe the sentiment back then was what the same the same comic with a different cover uh, people aren't gonna go for that right well as we know the rest is history. This one even has kind of that metallic trade dress. So pulling out all the stops starting in the year 1986, same year I was born as a matter of fact. And then another classic, uh, Star Wars 42 and a 9.4. First comic book appearance of Boba Fett. He first appeared for the first time in Marvel Super Special number 16. Way better key in my opinion. That's a great way to sell comics. X-Force number two in a 9.8, the second appearance of Deadpool. Superman number 199 in a 3.0. First Superman versus Flash race from 1967. Always cool to see 60s Silver Age DC keys. Uh, Green Lantern number 87, the first appearance of Jon Stewart and the second appearance of Guy Gardner in Cameo. Strange Tales number 180 and 8.5 White Pages, first appearance of Gamora. This book would be on my short list of personal grails if it had a better cover. There I go again, just selling the heck out of these comic books. Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 9 in a 9.4 white pages. Adapt Story from Spectacular Spider-Man Magazine number 2. Which, coincidentally, we just so happen to have. I just realized that when I read that on the label. I'm like, huh, I have that. So check this out. Adapts the story. There's the same cover. I mean, kind of remastered or whatever. Uh, this one is John Romita Sr. and Jim Mooney Art. It's a 9.4 and it looks really, really nice. I'm, I'm, I'm strongly considering cracking this one and sending it back in, especially since they got those new CGC cases, which are fantastic, by the way. I was thinking about doing a whole video on that because I did get one back. Uh, but speaking of uh, magazines, here is another banger. <laughs> I hate using that word banger, but there it is. A banger, Savage Tales, number one, and an 8.5. First appearance of Man-Thing. And this is probably a slam dunk CPR, as you can see right there in that top right corner. So there's this non-color breaking crease right here. Um, and other than that, I mean, this book is really, really sharp. 
really clean spine for an 8.5. Um, maybe, you know, a 9092 if you can get that thing out. I'm considering cracking that one, but magazine books are really hard to press um, and I haven't mastered it myself. But speaking of another magazine that I'm also considering keeping is this one, Marvel pre Preview number 21, a really rare Bill Sienkiewicz Moon Knight cover that is just absolutely epic. And this predates Moon Knight number one. And we have Noctera number one, the Black Sketch Edition. I believe this is like a super high ratio incentive. Daredevil 187 in a 9.8. Awesome Daredevil cover there. Ghost Rider number 31 in a 9.8. Any Ghost Rider book from this series in a 9.8 is worth collecting, in my opinion. Daredevil 154 in a 9.8. Here's another really awesome Noctera cover. This is the Leche Metal Edition. I didn't know Image was allowing metal editions of exclusives but i guess they are uh for noctera number one really cool to see that one superman number 75 signed by dan jurgens the death of superman ghost rider number 28 in a 98 white pages amazing spider-man annual 21 96 newsstand and a 96 direct amazing spider-man annual number 17 in a 9.6. Journey into Mystery number 109 in a 4.5. Awesome Magneto cover. Uh, I love when they play with the colors on these early uh, Silver Age marbles. It's like they just got so hung up on uh, colors on the cover. And, and for whatever reason, uh, it makes for some interesting covers. Here is X-Men number one in a 0.5. First appearance of the X-Men. Page 12 is missing, does not affect story, tape on cover, three extra staples added after manufacturing, incomplete. The seller of this book described this book as charming, and I told him, I don't think I would refer to this book as charming. <laughs> I think uh, it's something, it's something, but... Uh, Maybe maybe if if this is going to be your copy, maybe you think it, it is charming as well. But um, it's definitely one of the most entry-level uh, copies that you can get. And I'm sure somebody will be happy to, you know, just get into this book. And uh, this is probably about as cheap as you're ever going to possibly see for X-Men number one. Iron Fist 14 in a 9.2, first appearance of Sabretooth. Tomb of Dracula number 10 in a 5.0, first appearance of Blade. Marvel, Miss Marvel number 18. I would probably have kept this if this was a 9.8. It's the first full appearance of Mystique, and I just love the art on this and pretty much all of these early Miss Marvel uh, books. Maximum Carnage number 1 in a 7.5. This is that hard to find acclaim variant. Ghost Rider number 58 in a 9.8. Ghost Rider number 46 in a 9.8. <laughs> Talk about an awesome cover. It just says loser all of it. And Ghost Rider's just pointing and laughing. That is quite the cover. Star Wars number 51 in a 9.8. Ghost Rider volume 2 number 15 in a 9.8. This is that awesome glow-in-the-dark cover by Tex, Silver Surfer Volume 3, number 44, awesome Thanos cover in the first appearance of the Infinity Gauntlet in a 9.8, Ghost Rider number 27 in a 9.8, and Star Wars number 1 in a 9.2, and Star Wars number 1 in a 9.2, with white pages. Carnage Mind Bomb number one. Look at that foil goodness. Actually kind of a hard to find book for it being a 90s book. Awesome Carnage cover. All-Star Squadron 47. Awesome Dr. Fate cover in a 9.8. Incredible Hulk number 182 in a 9.0 white pages. CBCS case. It looks really nice for a 9.0. Um, I don't know. It probably would be worthwhile to just uh, crack it out and have it crossed over to CGC. Swamp Thing number one in a 9.2. Origin of Swamp Thing in the first appearance of Lieutenant Matt Cable. Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number one in a 9.8. White Pages. 
X Factor number six, first full appearance of Apocalypse in a 9.8. That book has come down a lot. Fear 19 in a 9.4, uh, first appearance of Howard the Duck. Great spec book, I believe. This came as part of the trade for the 9.8 copy that I had, which also came as part of a trade. So we kicked that can down. Let me know if anybody wants to trade for this book. Let's see how far we can kick that can down the road. Iron Man number 55, 8.0, White Pages, first full appearance of Thanos, Mentor, Drax the Destroyer, Star Fox, Kronos, and the Blood Brothers. Awesome multi-key there. Journey into Mystery 85 in a 1.5. Uh, first appearance of Loki and the third appearance of Thor. Amazing, amazing piece of comic book history there. Gargoyles number one in a 9.8. The Cat number one in a 7.5 white pages. Origin and first appearance of the Cat who later becomes Tigra. Tales to Astonish number 36 in a 5.0. Third appearance of Ant-Man. And Marvel Premiere number 15 in an 8.0 origin and first appearance of Iron Fist and the first appearance of Harold Meacham in the death of Wendell and Heather Rand. Just an incredibly important key to the mythos of Iron Fist. Howard the Duck number 13. First full story of the band Kiss in comic books in a 9.8. Howard the Duck number 12. The first comic book appearance of the band Kiss in Cameo. These are just cool covers. Awesome to see in 9.8 as well. Moon Knight number 29, 9.8, white pages. Incredible Bill Sienkiewicz cover. Absolutely epic. So cool to see in a 9.8. Star Wars 52 in a 9.8, white pages. Star Wars 7, 9.8, white pages. Something is Killing the Children, number one, 9.8, first print, first appearance of Erica Slaughter. Swamp Thing, number one, in a 9.0. Swamp Thing, number seven, in a 9.0, white pages. First meeting of Swamp Thing and Batman. Batman, number 245, um, awesome Neil Adams cover. Batman number 241, another awesome Neil Adams cover. Batman number 237. New Gods number 7, the first appearance of Steppenwolf in a 7.0. Green Lantern number 87 in a 6.5, first appearance of Jon Stewart. So a couple copies of this. Ice Cream Man number 2 variant cover. Uh... This is the first time I've seen Ice Cream Man number two. A really cool cover on that. Incredible Hulk 377 custom label. I'm on the hunt for a third print 9.8. If you have one or know somebody that does, it's the one with the yellow cover. Incredibly rare. I would definitely be interested. Ice Cream Man number one. First appearance of the Ice Cream Man. First print cover A. And Ice Cream Man number one, the variant cover. Amazing Spider-Man number 55. This is the second printing 1 in 50 variant for the Patrick Gleason webhead with the custom label. Here's a tough book to get the 9-8. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man volume 2 number 36, the 9-11 story. Human Fly number 1 in a 9.8. Human Fly number 2 in a 9.8 with Ghost Rider there on the cover. And I do have, I think, the entire rest of the run in high grade that I'm going to bring to whatnot. I may have already sold it by the time you're watching this video. If not, I might do like a bundle deal on that. If anyone's like a big Human Fly fan. Joker number two, the Harseen 1 in 50 variant cover. First appearance of Vengeance, the daughter of Bane. Spectacular Spider-Man 97 and a 9.8. Awesome cover with the Hermit on it and Black Hat appearance. Daredevil 182 in a 9.8. Master of Kung Fu number 87 in a 9.8. Ice Cream Man number 1, second printing in a 9.6. Batman 655, 9.8, double signed by Andy Kubert and Grant Morrison. The first appearance of Damien in Cameo on the last page. Submariner number 1 in a 9.4, white pages, CBCS. I believe this came in a trade for the 9.6 that I had, if I'm not mistaken. I might be mistaken on that. 
Amazing Spider-Man number 300 and a 9.6 white pages. First appearance of Venom. Nova number one and a 9.6. First appearance and origin of Nova in Richard Rider. Marvel Spotlight number two. Origin and first appearance of the Werewolf by Night and Jack Russell. I also have a beautiful higher grade copy. Triple signed by Jerry Conway, Stan Lee, and Neil Adams over on the website. Fantastic Four number 46, the first full appearance of Black Bolts. Captain America Annual number 8 in the 9-6, classic cover uh, by Mike Zack. Marvel Super Heroes 20, classic Doctor Doom cover and the first appearance of Valeria in a 6-5. Ultimate Fallout 4, the La Mole Comic Con full foil edition. Oh, there's the higher grade copies. So Marvel Spotlight number two, signed by Stan Lee, Neil Adams, and Jerry Conway in a 9.0. I do believe it's pressable, but those signatures are with paint pens and it's likely that they'd come off if you press that book. Invincible Iron Man number nine, the Turcotte variant, uh, first full appearance of Riri Williams in a 9.8. Thor number 377 in a 9.8, first appearance of Beta Ray Bill. Mighty Avengers number 62, first appearance of M'Baku. Jungle Action number 6, the first Black Panther solo story and the first appearance of Killmonger. Marvel Special Edition number 15, first appearance of Shang-Chi and Fu Manchu. Another copy of Iron Fist number 14, a 7-5, the first full appearance of Sabretooth. Captain America number 354. This cover, uh, I don't think this book gets enough love. It's definitely in a dip. 9.2 white pages. First John Walker uh, as the U.S. agent. Iron Man and Submariner number one. A 6.5 predates Iron Man number one. And another copy of Submariner number one in a 5.5. Amazing Spider-Man 135. The second appearance of the Punisher in a 6.0. And Amazing Spider-Man number 78, the origin and first appearance of the Prowler. So there you have it, folks. Another awesome stack of slabs. Uh, so cool to see all of these amazing key comics come through the shop. It does feel a little bit like owning them. It's a weird thing being a shop owner. When you see all these books come through, it kind of scratches the collecting itch. Um, it, it's a very odd thing, uh, something I'm still getting used to as a collector myself. Um, but don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment and like this video for your chance to win this month's brand new giveaway for April and head over to BriceComics.com, sign up for the newsletter for your chance to win a free slab each and every month, a brand new slab right here for the month of April. Uh, follow me on Whatnot and Instagram and thank you as always for sticking with me to the end of the video we'll catch you in the next one bye Bryce comics